Hello and welcome to episode 76 of our Midlands map. We are at Sunday's Guest Station as a beautiful train pulls in. Don't think you stop here though, Mr. Train. No, you're just slowing down. Yes, it's a busy route into Birmingham International. It was guessed correctly. And uh, the uh, new station master. Oh, there goes our plane. That was beautiful timing. I didn't know it was above us. Anyhow, East Anglian train spotting. Congratulations. I believe that's your second, second station on the map. Now you've got a blue four door there. And a couple of benches in a bin, as is obligatory with, with the station master's house. So here we are then, we're at Berkswell. You just prove it. The only trains that stop here are the London Euston to Birmingham New Street service, as one just arrives. We're, we're good on the timings again, aren't we? This is amazing. Yeah, yes, that is, uh, that would be London Northwestern Railway, if I'm correct. Might be wrong. I think that's it. I should know by now, shouldn't I? 76 episodes. He doesn't obviously travel all the way to London Houston on our map. But he does go all the way to Bletchley. And off he goes. There are a couple of giveaways for this one. Mainly this bridge. Um, I don't know whether in the on Sunday's episode you quite see the top of the Coventry football stadium over there. Right, so what are we doing today? We are off to... In comes our plane. Should we, should we get on board? There we go. We are off to a Worcester. We're going to be putting in at least a Worcester Shrub Hill and hopefully the uh, crazy junction that's going on right in the heart of Worcester. Our planes have obviously caught up because we did some... We did some shenanigans in the previous episode. I mean... We could tell this train, uh, pl train, plane to uh, continue. There you go. Abort, abort. <laughs> How many people are on it? Seven. Seven people are none too impressed right now. I just want it to circle, really. Uh, give this plane a chance to take off. Just so we can space them out a bit. I don't like them both together like that. So we're going to, we're going to let him uh, think he's going to East Midlands Airport, which... As I promised, if I can find the East Midlands Airport, there you are. We now have a uh, brand new station there. Station? Airport. To be fair, we don't uh, talk about airports very often, just in the last few episodes. I'm going to stick to that. Right, are you taking off? You're taking off. You are now going to turn around. <laughs> there we go. He's, he's not happy. Or he is, I don't know. It happens, doesn't it? Sometimes they have to go in a holding pattern. That was the equivalent of our holding pattern. Now they should be a little more spaced out. Oh, that made me up. It's looking good, isn't it, the map? There's still a lot of field work to do. But I'm, I'm liking the look of it. I really am. The road network is starting to come together. The uh, bits of scenery and industries all in there. Anyhow, we can't sit on there all day. We've got lots to do and I've got lots to show you. You may have caught a quick glimpse, but I, I completed some of the scenery. Got a bit of a green belt going on there. Finished off the fields, put in the trees. Oh, I did the bus stop too. There we go. And we, we've got some buildings. And I, I put another ad in, I made that. It, it, I didn't make it completely. I kind of uh, tore, tore apart their uh, their ad on their website and tried to make a billboard out of it. So there we go. We've got that in. It looks very Midlands now. Or at least there, anyhow. Just look at that sign. In comes our shuttle. I'm actually thinking about removing one of the trains on these shuttles. There are two currently. And I would like them to be a little less frequent. I'm not sure though. I don't know. They're quite frequent. But uh, we're getting a busy network. I don't, should we have a look at the... Let's have a look at the frequency for it. Oh yes. Giveaway. I'll show you this bus in a minute. I put a new bus service on. It was the uh, 61. And we'll, we'll go take a look at that. 
Uh, we only want to see what we can see. I don't know why you can see the 61 from there. I don't think you can. Where's our shuttle? It's only got two on. It's five minutes. No, I wouldn't really I wouldn't really mind putting one of you in the depot. Where's our other one? Is it up here in New Street? Yeah, it's just coming out of New Street. It's only got one person on it. You know what? You're going to be sold. I have no idea what depot you're going to go to. Possibly. No, you can't get up there. What depot are you going to go to? It'll find its way. It'll find its way. I mean, it's intriguing to get, go and watch it, but I don't know where it's going to go. It, we might be here for the entire episode watching this train find a depot. Where are you off to, sir? We could fast forward it a little bit. Go on. Fast forward it. Anyhow, while we're here, we'll go and check it, check up on him. We could leave his window open down here. See where he heads to. Uh, this is the um, 61. And it's being used. Look at that. I have turned off the money. Yeah, okay. It's when the window's open. It still shows the money. So it stops at Moore Street. Or around Moore Street. I've, I've made it stop up here somewhere. And turn around in this little bit here. If we, uh, if we bring up the line manager. No. No. Don't change your line. That's not how you play the game. If we bring out the line manager. You can see it does a little loop there, which which kind of works for us. We're missing a few things. He's off to find a depot. That's great. We'll, we'll keep an eye on him. I'll leave it open. Don't let me close it. So, oh, we should have had this open so I can show you the route. I've also changed it to National National Express mouthful West Midlands as that's what operates here and also because Transport for West Midlands are, are bringing out unified colours for their, their buses trams and trains trains going to be orange let's get this right I, I, I've closed the window where the information was on trams going to be orange no trams are going to be blue trains are going to be orange and all the buses are going to be red for everything within the West Midlands. I don't know how far that extends out to. But we'll, we'll go with that colouring. I don't think it applies to things like London, London North West. Uh, those, those trains that head far out from Birmingham. But the Cross City Line, for instance, will be the orange livery, the new one. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh, I see how you get up there now. You, Oh, that's brilliant. Of course you can get up there. You go around here and then to this depot. That's amazing. I have a happy. i tell you why. Because that's, that's a functioning depot. And infrastructure all here. And it's a recreation of what goes on in real life. Uh, although I'm not sure whether this is actually a depot in real life. It's, it is definitely a museum. That's why we've got... That's why we've got our trains on here. We haven't left ourselves much room for the bigger trains. Might have to extend that. We've got more trains operating there. That's the Kidderminster to Whitlock's end. And there he goes. He's, uh, he's being demolished. No, we're not saying he's being demolished. He's going to be repurposed. Okay, what else have I been up to? All the things. I've just been detailing here and there and finishing off bits of scenery. Things like this that separate uh, Barnt Green and Longbridge. Our trains are really running quite well at the moment. The, the, the backing up at New Street has died down a little bit. Although I would still prefer it to be a little bit better. And looking at the time tape I've been researching guys. Looking at the timetable, oh, here's where our 61 passes by. We might as well sit here. Looking at the timetables and hide that, we, um, the, oh, which one is it? The one from Bromsgrove to Litchfield City isn't quite as frequent as the Bromsgrove to Litchfield Trent Valley. So I'm thinking about removing one of those as well. And that should uh, space us out. Oh, that's one of our new express trains. There it goes. It's been pointed out to me that it, it's got uh, 60 mile per hour coaches on. We're going to leave them on there for a bit. 
Eventually we'll change them and we'll, we'll get it to uh, roughly the speed it runs down there. There's a lot of junctions and stopping and it does go through the heart of Birmingham, so I think we'll be all right for now. So there we have it. We have, we, we saw the uh, the two 61s. We, we're going to go all this way with the 61. And we head out to... Uh, we click on it. You can see I've, I've started naming them better. So it goes from Frankly to Birmingham. And, and this is Frankly. Frankly, it's quite empty. You're welcome. I was waiting for a round of applause there. Didn't happen. Because it's just me. <laughs> there we go. We go all the way out to Frankly. And it, it sort of crosses over and crisscrosses with our, with our other service over here, wherever you are. The double deckers we put on. There you are. With our Yardley Woods Bartley Green. Always change I changed that away from stagecoach. Incorrectly given the con contract. And it is now uh, come on, National Express. You you've written it down and you still forgot. Pe no people on it at the moment, but if we uh, bring up the UI Do we have people waiting at the we do. Look, we got... No, that's someone's house. Don't click on someone's house. We got two people waiting. They are going to the drive in St. John's Road. Obviously not the correct road names. Fairly sure you can't rename the roads though. So we're, we're kind of stuck with what the game creates for us. So what do you reckon, guys? Oh, I'd like to move our first person in. We're going to have... Gamer. 514 was adamant he wanted this so there you go you have this farmhouse enjoy it you've got like a little volvo truck there uh, and you've got a little yellow beetle parked at the side and you're right near the motorway so i hope you've got double glazing or something i would hope everybody or well, most people have double glazing who live around the, near a motorway could be a bit noisy it's, oh, it's really starting to come together. I remember when we did this ages ago. We're going back to over here. That's busy now. Anybody uh, forget the station? Dylan got it right. <laughs> Ooh, I, I can't remember the name of it. Surely I can. I'm not going to look at it. Oh, Smethic. Golden Bridge. I'm moving in with you, Dylan. You don't mind, because I won. Right, and that's about it for uh, updates. Well, it's probably not. I've probably forgotten some. Uh, this bit looking a bit better. I started uh, putting some bridge work in and, and the, the cutting for the single track. I did make a note of all these. I uh, I uh, closed the, the note before recording. Because that's what you do. Okay, Worcester. This is where we're heading. Worcester's going to... We've got an interesting group of stations here. Uh, luckily, we've got some uh, rivers and lakes in. Worcester has three stations we're going to put in. One of them's brand new. It's not even open yet, but we're going to put it in anyway. If we can. I'm, I'm sure we can fit it in. It's going to be kind of ideal for us. We need to be aiming about here at that angle. What I would like to do... Because we're going with Shrub Hill first. And we've got a lot of uh, destruction in our very near future there's also Worcester Foregate which is going to go across here and then the reason we've got to get this right is there's a lovely viaduct that goes across the 7 this is the 7 that's uh, sliding right down there not sliding is it <laughs> running thought the water stopped animating then and then our other station is Worcester Parkway which should be down here somewhere for us. I can't remember whether it's there or a little bit further down towards a little worth. I think that's too far. There's a we've got a junction here that connects up and bypasses Worcester to Goitwich Spa. And then we have the other one that comes into Worcester and then branches off, which one goes to Barnard's Green, which isn't called that, it's the Malvern Link, I believe. And another station. Probably going to have to get Barnard's Green a bit a bit bigger. I don't know why I called it that. I don't know whether it's called Great Malvern. 
We'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it. Another good thing about Worcester, I thought I'd, I'd lay out our plans for us and why it's important. I mean, other than what it's Worcester and it's pretty huge, but it's uh, it, it's Great Western Railway. We're actually going to have Great Western Railway where they should be on our map, and we, it heads down to it, through Evesham and then off to uh, London Paddington. So there we go. I just don't want to destroy all of Worcester. Look at it. It's grown so big. The reason being is all of these suburbs have connected up into into a giant town. I think Fernhill Heath might be a little big. But, uh, yeah. So where are we going to go? Smack bang here, I think. That gives us enough room for a junction. We might have to go a little more south. Oh, Worcester. I, I, you, it has to be done. We're going to get rid of a lot. And I'm going to make sure after we delete all this, that uh, bulldoze all this, delete, that uh, we have some some towns left. There's going to be quite a few uh, roads going under our railway. And okay, I don't know what we're doing down there just yet. This bit might need to go. You might be okay, but you're going to go anyhow. Right, let's check our suburbs. What's the, how, how are you doing? Still got... An absolute shed load of of jobs and population. Let's just play it. Make sure it really has got that. It does. Uh, Wrongswood, best name ever. You're still doing good. In fact, they're very, very populated around here. Bricksfield is doing good. Lippard Hanford, is that right? I don't know. Anybody from the Worcester area? Red Hill, brilliant. And, uh, Great Meadow. They've all, they've all got people. You, you guys shouldn't really be affected over there. Okay, official episode time, quickly. We're going to... I've got an idea for the station because it's got a 1B, 2B, 1A, 2A. So we're going to use a different station. And it's going to be a bit larger than it should be. So, and it needs to be very flat, otherwise it does not like anything. The station I had in mind, which is the only one I could find, if you can find some uh, different ones, we're a bit short on options here. We're going to go with 240. You go in at the moment. There's only... We're going to go with three because that's that's the least amount of stations we can have. And I, I, I like that. It just looks nice. And plus it mixes things up a bit. So that's going to be Worcester. And it's long for a reason because... We're going to have this first one is is going to have a transit track right there, which is what it does, and it ends at the uh, north side. Now, we want one and two as double allocation, um, which means, yeah, this is what I was saying. You, you need to be um, very, very flat in order to get this in. It will go in. However, it's going to take a lot of messing about to get in. If we find somewhere flat, you see, eventually it goes in. So we've got to uh, flatten all this and hopefully get it working. So I shall go away and do that after clicking off the station. Please say I haven't lost it. Yep, that, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to go away and do that and then we'll, we'll come back and hopefully have a place for it. Alright guys, I have uh, flattened it a bit and got it at roughly the right angle. I would like it raised up a touch, which is pushing it. I don't know why it sometimes does this. But outside of the station, it is called Worcester Grub Hill. There's a little circular road, which I'd like to recreate. Which means we're going to have to raise this up slightly. And that will make sense as well as we do the detailing around here. We might need to go further across this way. Otherwise, we're really going to struggle to get in... Uh, the junction and then yeah we I've, I've done this in the wrong place you need to be much further over here all of this is just going to be destroyed nah. ah. right now can you go in you see you can you can go in i didn't need to do all that i don't know why it doesn't do it sometimes who knows make sure the, the turnouts are in there they are Make sure that we're we're kind of facing the right angle for the station. 
Yeah, if we go a bit further across here, closer to Ronxwood, we we'll, we should be able to get the massive, massive junction in. And be able to turn out towards uh, Foregate. Are we going with there? That looks fairly good to me. There, do it. Put it in. Alright, so Worcester Shrub Hill is in. We should name it such. Probably named it Wrongswood. Worcester Shrub Hill. Oops. Capital Hill. Capital Hill, that's somewhere different. There we go. There we go. Alright, now let's do this front roadie bit. Stay up. There we go. And you're going to slowly head down like that and like that this had to go in had to now i can't remember how it connects up here so <laughs> we're just gonna leave it there yeah there we go we'll probably just connect it up like that for now and connect you up to there and i will i will sort out the road around here a little better and we'll obviously we'll obviously detail it We'll do some of it together. I'm trying to find a, a nice balance between me going away and detailing and doing some together. Time is an issue now, as we've got lots and lots. I, I'm still playing the game. Goodness me. I'm surprised I didn't build back while I was doing all that bulldozy stuff. Yeah, time is an issue because we have a Transport Fever 2 on the way. Well, I mean, you don't do really good roads there, do you? So, you know, just for your terrible road design I'm gonna bulldoze it and you can try again or I'll uh, encourage you to do it more like that we'll connect this up there's gonna be uh, better roads have I done a better job of it of course I have lots of uh, lots of detailing detailing smoothing detail well I guess it is isn't it if you smooth your map detailing so we got it in. We got Worcester Shrub Hill in. And we should have terminals. If we take a look at the terminals, we won't be using this outside one, but it, it I do want it in there. Uh we got one and two are actually like one A, one B. Three and four are gonna be two A and two B. That's how we're gonna use those. And five we're gonna ignore, even though trains do kind of pull in there. Alright. Let's see if we've left ourselves enough room. Hopefully. We kind of want to be south of Northwick and going across there. But it, it's it's quite a big junction. I'll put it on screen if I remember. Uh, did I put it in as high speed? Don't know. Possibly. Alright, we want to keep everything straight. Otherwise we're going to have issues with wobbly and bumpy tracks. This one flies out quite nicely that way and I would like it to be something like that this middle track ends there but that's great that's beautiful and this one is going off that way we do need it raised up like this so that, that's perfect for us right now this joins in and it, it, it's 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 kind of crazy like I said, I'll hopefully get uh, get it up there for you on screen. That's going to go like that. Now, I think that about does it. Okay, so first off, we've got a road that goes under all of, the, all of this. Most of it, anyhow. Uh, it kind of goes across there. So I'm hoping we can, we can build the, the bridge. Might be a bit tricky. It does head down and under, rather than it being that at the town level. Let's make sure we haven't uh, destroyed too much of everything. No, you're still doing good. You've, you've run out of shops, though. Worcester, you're just about holding it together. And Red Hill. We'll, we'll play it and let them rebuild, I think. We've got to kind of head round uh, that way. Burn Heath and then into there. This is not the, uh, this is not obviously the, the end of the junction. It's a biggie. But it, I do want it to gradually curl round here. There we go. So far, so good. 
We have two tracks this side. It's going to be um, it's going to be interesting to get the bridge under here. This is going to go out that way. I don't think this is a bypass. I, I feel like it's more of a yard than a bypass. It's going to be like that. There we go. Okay, we're getting the outline, guys. We're getting the outline. Anybody uh, been to Shrub Hill? I saw uh, Jeff's Marshall talking about this area. Jeff Marshall. Least used station in Worcestershire. We're going to have it in soon. It's Hartlebury. So that's kind of cool. We'll have our own version of that in. Uh, this is going to keep going around there. Brilliant. And then we've got some uh, crazy, crazy shenanigans going on here as well. These middle ones meet up. I, I, I'm going to say this is the main line here. So we're going to use that. Connect up to... Where are you? Yeah, we want to kind of scoot round Burnhill Heath, I believe. Actually, I would say we kind of go more through the middle of it. We're kind of doing the right thing here. This uh, gentle curve. It's not going to bode well for, for the town. But, uh, yeah, we are going the right way. We're going to keep it nice and steady around here. I have noticed on the map as well, as I was taking a look around this area, around Worcester, that we're going to start seeing some uh, level crossings, which is a nice addition to the map. Now, okay, so if we can have you either side of the of the railway track here, this would be brilliant, because that's pretty much what you do. Don't mind this 60 here. We could possibly make it a touch better. So let's do that. And we'll just uh, glide it in. Oh, all right, that, that should be good. That should be good. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's it's mostly stopping trains here. In fact, I think it pretty much is stopping train. There might be some that pass through. Now we need to... Uh, the, it's going to branch off down here somewhere. This is going to join back in. We need to be heading, make sure we're in the right place. So that you're going to be coming back in just before it splits off. And I'm not sure how quick this would be. Should we go 35? We'll knock this one back as well. Is that right? I, I feel like I've got one too many tracks here. Should be three on this side. Well, this one, I would like to be a bit further out if we can do it. I don't know how we're going to achieve that. If we go there, I'd just like a little gap, but uh, obviously smoother than that. There we go. If we do it like that, just to get some variation. I don't like it when they're just perfectly uniform. Might need to redo this section. There we go. That's better. That's better. No longer uniform. I think we come in that way where I'm getting confused here. There are three tracks. Ah, that's where I'm I'm not seeing it. I've got it. This this one actually comes in quite a lot sooner. That's where I was getting muddled up. This one here is gonna come in about there instead. And then that one will gradually move in up there. There we go. Better. Much better. Now we've got uh some some crazy going on in the middle here well, not crazy it's obviously got a purpose we have like a, a stable and a siding going on hopefully we can get that replicated quite nicely we're just gonna gonna bring you around that way I think yeah because eventually they do join in should be able to get it about right Oh, I didn't even see I didn't connect that up. That was interesting. Right, you've gone a bit too far. We're a bit condensed, remember, as always. We're always condensed, so a bit of artistic license is required as well. There's our sidings. If we go into there, I definitely want to get the, the sort of stable thing going on, but I don't think we've left enough room for the junction we could go further north let's do it let's go further north and leave ourselves more room for this sidings because it's 
It's quite a nice bit of scenery around there if we if we can get it in better. Which means you don't need to come in quite as quickly. But we'll send you up about there instead. In fact, if we do this side first, I would like that side to come out there. There we go. This has got to uh, run alongside all the way. So we'll, we'll connect this one up to the, the bit of branch that comes off there. Bit of branch, that's not what you call it. <laughs> what would you call that? Alright, you're going that way. And you're going all the way into... Not like that, because that didn't look fantastic, did it? There we go, that looks better. I don't mind them bowing like that, that's absolutely fine. We'll get that gone. Okay, now I'm a little more confident with it. Although, still not fantastic. Alright, you're going out that way again. But I want you definitely straight. I want you to do a big old arc around there. Oh, you're beautiful. You did it. And then, we're going to get the sidings in from this one here. Not like that though. If we put the sidings in here, I mean, I don't mind if these, these are a little shorter than they should be. There we go. We'll put something here, though, scenery-wise. Oh, I'm going to have to do that the other way around. Should have maybe started here, because you're not going to connect there, are you? Okay, where's the point there? Brilliant. Will that do for it? There's a few more than that, but I think we're running out of room. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to... Oh, I don't know. No, do you know what? That might work, given our scale. I think we can do it, guys. I think we can do it. Okay, back here. Are you happy with that? I've missed something, haven't I? Yes, I have. We need this in. <laughs> Which is the... No, that one goes in sooner. We need this to head back. This uh, uh, middle track. It needs to be before that junction. So we're going to put that one in there. Nice and slow. And then we're coming back up to meet you. Brilliant. We're going to go up to there. And we want this one to join back in about there. Yeah, I completely forgot to reconnect that all up. Now I think we have a thing going. Are we happy with that? Okay, now this is the one that's heading off to... We can get this right. To Fourgate. We can do that about 50. It'll be great. Like so. There we go. And these two have obviously got to meet up. It, does a, it doesn't do a, a smooth curve it, it kind of does a little follow with that first there's like a tarmac area around there i don't mind the wiggle we're going to be slowing down for the for the train station anyway there's actually a train that uses this line so it, it needs to go in but the question is have i left enough room now according to my data and my reference material these join like that. Might need to come in a bit more. We'll have this inside one do that. And this should meet up with it. But I don't see any crossing. It, this is supposed to do this instead. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, I'm sure it's got a reason. But I feel like there should be a crossover here before the station or something. There we go. We're going to go like that. That, uh, that's just begging for something to go like that, right? Surely. Surely that's the thing that happens. I mean, we, we might have to put it in for ourselves. We're not leaving ourselves much room for this lovely viaduct I wanted to get in. That makes me a little sad. But, ooh, you know, maybe we can go a bit more aggressive on the curve. We can probably come in a bit closer. And I will look that up about the uh, crossing. If we have this, just head a touch like that. This one needs to stay hugged closer. Come in like there instead. This will be more aggressive just here. But 
We should be good. I don't think it's going to be that quick. Right. Is that a little better? I think it is, isn't it? Alright, so we've got it all in. I may or may not have muted my mic as a car came back past and forgot to unmute it. So, in the in the uh, in the interest of a recap and me not knowing where on earth I got up to, I've signaled these up. This is what we're going with. You could these stay single track separate until after the river seven. I incorrectly put these in as we're going to need to we're going to need to do the bridge, uh, the tunnel, the road tunnel that goes underneath there. I feel like this is the way this goes though. It does sort of make sense for me and we might even get away with another one up here. One thing I don't know about, I'll have it there and one way. One thing I don't know about is is where the the semaphores end on this bit of the line which I was talking to myself about for quite a while. So yeah. You haven't missed much, but uh, we'll, we'll look those up. Unless someone knows where these the actual semaphores end and turn into uh, the modern signals. So we'll keep killer Kansas for a little while up here. Because the ones that are killer Kansas are going to be staying there as, as they exist. Okay, so this train now goes to... I hope it goes to Shrub Hill. Watch it go to Fourgate. Do you know, I'm, I'm going to bring up the... Uh, I haven't saved it. Goodness me, man. Okay, good time to save it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at my notes. Alright, we're all saved. And in typical me fashion, I possibly put the wrong station in first. As this train, the Hereford train, as I thought it might, stop here. But the, the station I haven't done. I don't know whether we've got time to put that in. In fact, I'm not sure which trains... I believe the trains that stop here would split off that way at Droitwich and head towards Hartlebury and Kidderminster and swing round into Stourbridge. So I've done that in a kind of weird roundabout way. I guess what... Ooh, I don't really want to put it in there yet. We could possibly change it, right? Or should I try and get the station in? You know what? Try and get the station in. We're going to have just a, a standard station. And, and we're going to terraform around it to get the, uh, the viaducty thing going. Uh, we've got to go over there. I think we're kind of decent height anyway. Let's try and get the station in. Let's try and do it. We're going to. As long as we stay up and straight, we, we should be able to go over there. It's not going to be the biggest viaduct in the world, but uh, I might take it. Just so you can get the the essence of Viaduct. That sounds like a, a, a terrible brand of aftershave. Needless to say, I won't be se selling any essence of Viaduct anytime soon. Okay, we, we've actually got a little bit of a wiggle here. Um, it, it sort of heads down and curves, but we've run out of room. So I'm just going to go with... We're going to go with a, a no station building. One of these as it we've got some curvature going on and that that way we can get rid of all the things i, don't, I wasn't planning this one but we kind of want this one because it only curves or does it why oh, do we want the curve in i think we're gonna this viaduct is gonna be tiny okay well scale is a thing we, we're just gonna have to deal with it do not put all the things on though We'll have it like that. No, because it does have the curve. Come on, man. Figure out a way to do it. Otherwise, you're, you're just making things up. <laughs> so what we could do is have that slide round a bit further and then just start to wiggle. There we go. Which means we can send that out smoother around there, perhaps. There. Well, that wasn't smoother, was it? That was worse. Go to there. So fortunately, that that uh, all that recording where I 
I muted my mic. It was apparently for good reason, because we did all this while it was muted. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Right, you're, I'm going to have you as crazy, crazy tight, I think, because that's how we're going to improvise this. You're going to come in there, and you're going to curve straight off with this station, I hope. Alright, we're going to have to get rid of this, whoever you were. I'm going to stick with 160 on these ones. Now, can we get this, uh, this radius to kind of work for us? We go 67. That that's that one. And if we go 67, 667. If we go like that, no, you you're supposed to go the right same way, but a bit sharper. That might do us. That might do us. I think we got it. I'd like that to be right back there if possible. Okay, okay. I'm I'm happy with it. It's not quite as aggressive as it should be. Do you know, I'm really tempted to make that slightly smaller. I would, yes. Let's get rid of all the gubbins on it. Obviously, adjust that. And, yeah, platforms are fine. What I don't want, though, is any, any station. Well, we want them. No, do we want a main entrance? Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> we certainly don't want them all, do we? We're going to leave it like that, and we're going to put them... I'm going to put them both surface, like so, without any... No, they do have a covering. In fact, I think it's the right side. I think we're up here. Other side. Wrong one. C. This, I, I feel like, is a thing. Put it in. I would just like it in. If we can get it in, we can adjust it as necessary. We can uh, definitely think about viaducting that, though. If we bring this down just a touch, I wonder if we can force the viaduct. Certainly wouldn't be a bad idea. Don't worry, we, we'll scenery it up a bit better than what it looks at the moment. But I really wouldn't mind this making a bridge. Oh, you're, you're almost. Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to build the, the viaduct. And then... I don't want that. We want the, uh, the diggy tool. Technical term. We're going to build the viaduct. And then we're going to fill it back in again. As long as we go down to about sea level. Should get it. Do we get it? Aha! There we go. We're going to keep this straight. Even though oh, it's... Uh, starts to curve in a bit we, we want to curve around here over the seven and they're going to be our favorite floaty track and oh it's almost perfect you know but we don't want it too aggressive because otherwise it's going to make viaduct building quite difficult for us but we do want to be heading towards aren't oh, green over there there that should be easy enough. I think we got it, guys. We've got the crossover over here somewhere. We're going to be kind of heading that way still. And then it does something fantastic over here. I can't remember what, but it's something like that. And then there's a siding of sorts. So I'll put that there just to remind me what's going on. There we go. We, we, we've got viaduct territory. Now what we can do is smooth that out a touch so it doesn't look quite as terrible. We don't want it to bring it up all the way in everywhere, but we do want to, uh, we do want to get this bit working for us, just not too terrible. Too terrible. I don't know what I was going for there, word wise. We're gonna cover we're gonna cover all that hole in the side. I have seen a few more of these places where I've messed that up. We will tidy those up, I promise. Won't look like that forever. This has worked for us, hasn't it? That's beautiful. You're doing that. You're doing that. Right, let's get these signals in. I'm going to say these are going to be modern signals. Just here. Be one there. One there. And we've got that one leading in. We've got that one leading out. We've got that one controlling the station. 
I feel like we're, we're on to a winner. Now we have... Now we have also Worcester or Gate. That's right. And that's where our, our Hereford train is going. We will be using Shrub Hill. Promise you. Definitely. I mean, it's a bit tighter than it should be. I don't know whether I can smooth that out anymore without losing some of this, this scenery that we're going to have going in here, I think. I think to anyone who travels on this line, and if we're going to do a cab ride, having this in is quite important for uh, figuring out where you are. Some things I do have to get rid of, but uh, I try and get most of it in where possible. I think that's a good compromise, don't you? Are we happy with that? Is that kind of worked for us? Sort of happy with what it's done there as well. Lovely. We're going to hide it with bricks and things. Right then, let's uh, let's extend this service, shall we? You no longer terminate at Droitwich. You actually uh, you want to be going there. So then we get rid of Droitwich. There we go. So you now terminate at Orgate. Orgate. Then you go to Droitwich Spa, which means after Bromsgrove you end at Droitwich Spa. There, and continue on now into Worcester. It has begun, guys. I'll call that a good episode, I think. Or a <laughs> Well, you, you'll be the judge of that. I'll call that a, a successful progression on our map. There we go, that's better. Ooh, we've got a change to make. I, I was doing yet more researching after Dan B pointed out, and someone else mentioned in the comments that these do some, some interesting things. We've come to the consensus that when heading towards Hereford, we, we're stopping on P4, which is also the avoidance line for cross country, which goes that way, and we'll stop at Worcester Parkway when Parkway opens. So where, where are we? We don't want to be on three. We want to be on four, please. That is better. So there we go. We've fixed that. And now that all sorts of makes sense. Excellent. Soon we'll be able to get in the cross country service. Obviously we can't put it in yet because we don't stop at Bromsgrove. We will, however, be stopping at... Where are we? Good, it's a long way away. We will be stopping at wherever whichever side of the motorway that is or Worcester Parkway and we'll get our proper uh, Great Western Railway trains on here also need to do this I don't know whether I've got time to do that probably not I think we should end that one my timings might be all off so we're going to play it though allow allow these suburbs to rebuild only to get to knock down again <laughs> what is it with me and Lyric keep popping into my head so there we go our, our, our train is now all the way over there on the West Midlands Railway we will we will be putting some more some more coaches on as we unlock them we're, we're kind of close to 1953 I don't know whether anything unlocks oh do you know what I forgot to do I think this is when I was muted but <laughs> oh I told you, professional. That's what I am. Let's get in. Uh, we need a bit of detail in here. I think it's there. It's JK signal boxes. As there is one. And it, it's kind of right there. Uh, it sits somewhere around there. And it's, it's quite a biggie as well. I like it. Um, we'll find a place for it. We want ground. Because I would prefer to just manually slide it in there. Let's let's turn off the Oh and it's Great Western Railway, so GWR either of these work. Gonna go with should we go with tan? I don't know. Oh I don't think it's tan. We'll go with brown. We can always change it. I want to turn off the, the bottom bit. Where is it? Ground texture, none. There we go. We'll we'll do our own ground texture and we'll put you in there there we go you're in so we've got Worcester's uh, signal box in brilliant 
We now have Worcester Fourgate Street. We now have Worcester Shrub Hill. And this this is this is Shrub Hill right here. Almost looks like a roundabout. That's not how it's gonna end up looking. Uh you guys need to somehow connect back up. I think what we might do quickly to allow them to grow is quickly put in a quickly put in a bridge here. And like so. Nothing spectacular. It's not going to be real. As as I keep messing with it. Yeah. You know I can't help myself. I don't like them too high. There we go. That'll do. Get in there. As I destroy more of poor town suburb. I don't know what it is. Get in there. I'll look it up. I just want it to uh, be able to get across there. It's not how it's going to it's not how it's going to be as I throw around a signal box. There. Now you can build and be a little happier. So, when we come back, what we're going to be doing? We're going to be either heading, heading up to Hartlebury, Kidderminster and Stourbridge, or we can run down uh, from, from Bromsgrove on this, this branch here and start making our way to the the new Worcester Parkway and there's a there's a, like a big old triangle junction there which uh, takes us towards Tewkesbury which we, we've, we've got the correct uh, <laughs> correct name I think we're, we're going to be in there somewhere I can't remember where it is but we'll figure that out I think it runs parallel with the motorway we we will do that right then shall we uh, shall we jump on board a train or shall we have a bit of train spotting I know you like your cab rides at the end but uh, train spotting is always kind of cool as well, especially now we've got buses running around. Are people using them? Of course they are. They love their buses. Where's a nice place to sit? You know what? Selly Oak's kind of nice, isn't it? Selly Oak slash University. Ooh, I like this view because we see the trains going across in the distance. We're going to sit here for a change. And we're going to see our various trains go across and soon we'll have cross cross country going across there as well across cross lots of crosses there we go all right should we hide the ui on this that's not hiding the ui i don't know what that is control g does nothing alt left alt g does there's our bus the new number 61 i hope i haven't forgotten anything today but uh we've got everything in well in fact we got more in i wasn't in planning on getting uh, Borgate in so that is great news we can plow on with connecting more of that side of the network up and hopefully get uh, some new trains running and extend the ones we already have because a lot of them go that way too that'd be brilliant all right enough waffling i'll leave you with uh, a little bit of it's not even a station view is it? it's like a roadside we're standing on the corner staring at the station and the track and the buses. We're doing all the things. And there's a nice little restaurant and bar over there when we're done. So we can go and get a bite to eat. Perfect. That has been episode 76. We now have a couple of stations in Worcester and our trains have been extended. Enjoyed that. I really did. It was a bit frustrating in places but we got there in the end and I may have muted myself. So I'll see you Sunday for a new guest station. Congratulations to East Anglian Train Spotting on his new station. And until next time, take care.